Welcome to Five Six F News, where your host Belgian and Matilda Pinton now will be crossing over to Archer with the Never Seen Before interview. Hello, thanks, girls. I'm here with the principal of St Thomas Primary School, Jason Slattery. How's it going, Jason? Good, Archer. I'm going very well. That's good. So here's a few questions. Okay. Firstly, the rumour is that you fancy yourself on a bike. Is this true? Well, rumour is fact, I suppose. But what I have uh, been doing over the last two years uh, is riding um, a road bike um, because I had uh, lots of um, injuries in my early 30s and I wanted to still be active with young kids and I wanted to make sure that I could fit into my suits. So yeah. I started bike riding yeah. and I've really enjoyed it. Nowhere near as good as some of Sale's finest cyclists, but I'm on the way to at least keeping up with them. So I do enjoy it, but I don't consider okay. myself a, an expert by any means. Okay, yep. Secondly, how do you think the new playground looks? I think it's fantastic. It's a lot of uh, time and effort being put into a design, and also obviously with the cost, cost of $50,000. And then it's been pleasing to see that the parents and friends have wanted to make that their major fundraising uh, Initiative. What we're looking to do in the next 12 months is to put a shade sail over the play equipment yeah. and to paint some of the old equipment that we're, we're keeping uh, yeah. on the yep. site. But no, it looks fantastic and it's a great, um, it's going to be a, provide a great source of entertainment for little kids. Yeah, yeah. And lastly, do you have any weird habits? Well, uh, you may have already heard this one, but I have a couple of uh, weird habits with my feet because yeah. I. Uh, I uh, had an ingrown toenail as a, uh, as uh, probably five or six years ago, and it caused a lot of pain. So I, um, I'm always looking at my toes and cutting my my toenails. Yeah. So that would be uh, that would be the the, the main um, the main thing. Uh, yeah. And I I do have an, an area on my arm which uh, raises a little bump sometimes, which. Uh, um, isn't a really nice thing because it becomes full of pus, so I do need to, to let out a little bit of pus yep. on a little uh, area on my arm sometimes, Arch. Yep. But uh, I won't tell you where that is, and it's, uh, it's probably not a good thing to see either. Okay. So how's that for a couple of weird habits? Pretty good. Pretty good. Thanks for your time, Jason. Good luck with your biking career, and back to you, girls. Thanks, Arch. With that interview, now we'll be going over to Sarah and Sophie with the Maths Report and Maths Rap. Hey, we're the Maths Twins! Today we'll learn about what symmetry is. What symmetry? Oh, Sophie. Let's go. The twins from the twin math school. We love mathematics at school. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. Today at school we're learning some symmetry. Let's make it fun. Hey, symmetry is a line that goes down the middle that has the same sides. Hey, <laughs> is, is this symmetry? symmetry? No, it's not. Bang, bang. As you can see, symmetry is fun, so watch our weekly mass wrap. Oh, that's symmetry. Who doesn't know their times tables? Let's go interview some kids from the St. Thomas Primary School and see if they know their times tables. Hi, kids. What's one times one? Oh, yes, the boys are right here. when we do our times tables wrap on Twin Mouse School. Hey! Right, now crossing over to Sam with a RA report about the Ten Commandments. Hello, it's Sam here and today I'll be talking about the Ten Commandments. Um, the Ten Commandments are rules made by God. Here are the Ten Commandments straight from the Bible. I am the Lord your God. You shall not have strange gods before me. Ye shall not take the name of the Lord in vain. Remember to keep holy the Sabbath day. Honour your father and mother. You shall not kill. You shall, you shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbour. You shall not covet your neighbour's wife and you shall not covet your 
neighbour. It's good. Thanks. That's all for the Ten Commandments. Same for the Ten Commandments. We'll be right back after a short ad break. Now we have Ethan with the sport report. Thanks, girls. In today's sport, cross over to Archer with Mr Fife from the Kanga Cricket. Thanks, Ethan. So today I'm here with the official St Thomas A grade cricket selector, Shane Fife. How are you, Shane? Very well, Archer. How are you? Good, thanks. That's great to hear. <laughs> do you mind if I ask you a few? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? You can ask. Okay. So first up, how does it feel to be the official school A grade selector? Uh, it's a it's a very big privilege. Um, had how many how many boys do we have? 16, 16, 16 boys yeah. to choose sort of one two sides from. Um, so it was quite a hard a hard job, but I uh, I felt very privileged to be doing it. That's right. Do you think there are talented cricketers in this group of sixteen? Uh, there are very there are very um, talented bunch of bunch of kids. So I've got to pick two sides of eight. So it's yep. going to be uh, quite tough. But um, yep, we've got to be able to bat, bowl, and field. So that's the hardest part. Yeah. We're going to be able to do all three things. Yeah. Yeah. And lastly, how do you think the A grade team will go on today? Yeah, I think they'll go. I think they'll go pretty, pretty well. Um, like I said, if they can work together as a team, work hard, and there might, there'll probably be a couple of other schools that'll do do pretty well. But I think they'll go well. Thanks for your time, Shane. Good luck on the day, and back to you, Ethan. Thanks, Archer. The Kangaroo cricket sounds great. We'll also cross over to Will, who's got one of the boys doing the state athletics. On the 28th of October, the state athletics will be held at Elba Park in Melbourne. There are two relay teams going through and three people doing individual events. Now I'll interview Riley Boyle. Hi Riley, I heard you were going to the state athletics in the relay. Yep, I have. Now I'll ask you some questions. How have you been training? Yeah, I've been training pretty well. Uh, it's running nice and smoothly. Yeah, yeah thanks one more. How do you think you'll go? Yeah, I think we'll go pretty well. We're pretty confident and, yeah, I think we'll go pretty well. Yeah. Um, thanks for your time and good luck. Back to you, Ethan. Thanks, Will. The state athletics sound great. We've also got Riley talking about our swimming lessons. On the 11th of October, the Preps 2's 5 sixes went to the sales swimming pool to start swimming lessons. And it was a good day for it. You're placed into lower and higher groups. It depends how good of a swimmer you are. Back to you, Ethan. Thanks, Riley. That's all the sport for this week. Back to you girls at the desk. Try, are you tired of trying to find a drink towel? <gasps> well, try this new arrow water. Research has found that you have gained four arrows just by clipping this on your drink bottle. It clips right on. The air inside makes it turn into water. No more dying of thirst. Try out new flavor. Water alone. Strawberry and blueberry. Call us Sam. on 15555 and you will receive six different flavors of the price of one. Thanks, Ethan. Now we have Daniel talking about why we have to eat inside. Hello, I'm Daniel Lowen. Today I'm going to talk about eating inside. We can't have rubbish outside, so we eat inside for recess and lunch. There are no bins outside because there is too much rubbish outside. Now I'll be asking questions to Mr Jason Slattery. Why do you like students eating inside? Well, uh, Daniel, I actually don't like students eating inside. I much prefer our students to be eating outside, especially when we have our beautiful weather in Term 1 and Term 4. Um, I think uh, it's a privilege to be able to sit outside in the nice weather to, to have our lunch, but uh, if we're going to do that, there needs to be a responsibility from everyone, by students and teachers, that we keep all of our areas nice and clean, of which, uh, unfortunately, uh, having walked around sometimes uh, during the course of this year, um, the areas have been left uh, rather untidy. But hopefully in the future, we will be eating outside. Have you looked at getting new bins for the school? We have looked at getting some new bins for the school. Obviously, uh, boys and girls here at St Thomas's know that we have a lot of crows who, who, um, uh, who are lingering around, loitering around, I suppose we could say, our bins and taking the, the tops off the bins, but also getting in and knocking them over and is a cause of a lot of the rubbish. But that's only one of the little reasons. Um, we're looking at having um, a bin with a, a dome shaped over over the bin where you only need to open up the little flap on the 
on the round dome ball, um, at which then the, the bin will, will remain upright, the lid will stay on, and there's only one little area there where the, where the papers will be able to go in. So that's something we are looking at. Um, but uh, again, it's a, they're, they're pretty costly, so we're just seeing whether or not it's going to be uh, worth it financially for our school. Thank you. And finally, last question. What other options did you look at for reducing the amount of litter at St Thomas? Well, there is one an issue that I'm currently looking at, and a couple of schools in another state in New South Wales are currently doing this, and that is by everybody, everybody buying the same lunchbox and it's a lunchbox where you don't require any wrappers on your food. So you can uh, have your sandwich in a little compartment of a lunchbox and it comes out and it stays nice and fresh without having to have the glad wrap over it. And the other thing is that um, obviously if we're having things like a little snack, um, our chip packets and wrappers are one thing and muesli bar wrappers are, are things there that we're looking at maybe with this special type of lunchbox that the contents can be poured into a uh, an area of the lunchbox without needing to come to school with any wrappers at all on your on your food. So you're putting your lunchbox back into the your bag at the end of the day, and it's bare because you've eaten all the food and there's no wrappers. So that's something we are looking at. Thanks, Jason. Back to you, girls. Thank you, Daniel. Now we have Riley talking about the bins. Hi, I'm Riley, and I'm talking no, talking about no bins outside. It is a disgrace that there are no bins outside because. We have to eat inside. The reason why there is no bins outside is because there's too much rubbish flying around our school. Mr. Slater, our principal of our school, was into uh, taking a people on a tour of our school, and one of them said, "Well, we've got a lot of rubbish flying around your your school. That's why we have to eat inside." Back to you, girls. Thanks, Riley. Now we're crossing over to the spellmaster. Hello, this is Archie with your spellmaster today. So, I'm here with Carmelo Curry. How are you going today, Carmelo? Ah, uh, yeah, not too bad, mate. What brought you on to the show today? Well, uh, my and dad just died in a car crash. It's, it's OK. <laughs> but, well, well, let's hope you spell this word right. Which brings me to this. Your word is laser. Oh, this is an easy word. Laser. L A. Z E R. That is incorrect. Uh, how about I explain how Carmelo over there got it wrong? As you can see here, there are many ways to the sounds can be made Z, double Z, Z E, S E, and S. And that is how Carmelo got it wrong. I'll oh, we'll see you next time. Back to you, girls. Thanks, Archer. Thank you for watching 56F News.